what's going on you guys i am back with another video and so today i am going to be talking about dating in my 20s so child i'm only 23 <laughs> so I, I don't have a whole plethora of knowledge on this but i have what i but i have what i have so you know i just want to talk about it because honestly i feel like it's hard out here <laughs> like i feel like i'm going through it with dating and i want to get married you know i want to have kids i want the whole thing but it's just like where is he at where where is he i know god has somebody out there for me he's got to have somebody i don't know if this is advice i don't know if this is just me talking but I'm gonna just talk about what I have been doing as far as dating and what has worked and what has not and I am still single let's put that on the record so clearly some things are not working <laughs> all right so the first thing I want to start on I have my notes here so I'm gonna be starting on different things this new era of dating online so it really isn't new but specifically since with everything that's happened since you know March of 2020 and us being inside dating has really changed a lot more than it was but i have always kind of been a person that dated online i'm always on instagram like i've been on instagram since instagram started okay it became a way for me to interact with people probably like what a sophomore in high school so like 14 15 years old i wasn't going out and just being out all times of the night and stuff like that. I wasn't going to little teen clubs and stuff like that. So the way I was able to communicate with boys that I was interested in or that were interested in me was online. So that I feel like guided me with how I date today because I am used to my initial contact with guys being on Instagram. So when it came to like apps like Tinder or BLK, Hinge, um, Bumble. For some people, they're like, absolutely not. Why would I use this app? Like, if I want to date somebody, I'll just go and meet them. But for me, using those apps means absolutely nothing because I feel like it's the same thing that I do on Instagram. I feel like it's the same thing if I got on Tinder or Hinge. I mean, they saw my pictures. They thought I was cute. They wanted to get to know me. It's just a little bit more intentional um on those apps but i feel like there's really no difference between those apps and me meeting guys on instagram but so yeah i have been kind of like big when it comes to dating online getting to know somebody online things like that i have had quite a few situationships i won't call them relationships but situationships that transpired online never have met some of these guys in person one in particular we're still in communication for years we would talk facetime like that was my little boo like for real for real back then like i was like in high school so you know that was my little long distance boo he was in atlanta i was in kansas city but like we was talking and it was funny because i would date in high school but when i would break up with somebody and even leading into like college i would talk to him and when i would break up with my exes i would talk start talking to him again um because it was just easy i guess so i feel like it has shaped how i interact with people so i am more accustomed at this point to we have to communicate with each other i want to text you i want to talk on the phone before we schedule a date some of the pros of online dating i would say is that i am number one able to see if you're somebody i'm interested in when you're in person i feel like you don't know their background you don't know you know different things like you're just seeing this initial view of them versus online even though you can create a persona that's completely true but online i just feel like for the most part you can really see the different aspects of a person who a person is by their social media presence and things like that if i get on your instagram page and you got guns up in your pictures and you holding your money out like this nine times out of ten i'm not interested in you <laughs> we are not compatible 
But if I get on your page, I see you're a college student. I can relate to that. Or you've already graduated. I can see like, you you know, you're working or you have a business or things like that. I'm like, okay, you know. I'm not saying the guys with the guns and the money don't have any of those things. I just know if you got the guns in your pictures, I don't want no parts of that. <laughs> if this is somebody that I'm attracted to, if I'm interested in, things like that. Um, sometimes you can get somebody a number at night and you, your memory's fuzzy and the next thing you know, you, this ain't even somebody that you like looking at. Another pro would be that um, it's just convenient. I can meet multiple people in an instant online. I have so many options at my fingertips. Whereas if I'm out in person, you come up with to me, you might be on me the whole night. Now my options are limited because they all see you over here with me. Now, as far as cons with online dating, a lot of the time, distance can be an issue. You see somebody, oh, this has happened so many times. I've seen guys that I'm interested in. They're interested in me, but we're not in the same place. <laughs> like... Oh God, I hate that so much. We ain't spoken so long. Probably put me in the past. I can still get you wet and I can still make you laugh. I had to just like really relish in that for a moment because it's so sad. Check all the boxes, but you're not here. So that's a big con. Another con, I feel like it hinders my social skills. I will say that because I'm the life of the party online, in all honesty. You would think I was a whole extrovert. People really do. But when I get in person, you see that introvert part of me. And I feel like sometimes, you know, that can hinder me because it's a crutch sometimes. I'm not as bold in the real world or I'm not as approachable in the real world. So that can, you know, be a con from being used to online dating. I might miss out on meeting somebody in the real world because I'm programmed to just date people online. Everybody don't shoot they shot online. Some people like to meet you in person. Some people like to see somebody that they that they like and walk up to them and approach them. So I would love to try that one day. Like go to a bar and just see like, you know, if, you know, anybody's interested in me or if I'm interested in anybody. That's the pros and the cons of online dating. I want to get into long distance relationships. So, so that has been a struggle for me in dating in my 20s because I have met great guys even like within the last couple months I have met really great guys but they're just not in my city there was a time in my life where I could talk on the phone with you text you all that kind of stuff and you be in a whole different state and you have my complete attention I'm not there anymore trying to give my time to somebody that I physically can't see especially knowing now I require your time I require to be around you and in the same space as you those are things that are necessary for me in a relationship i it's hard for me to do long distance i kind of will treat it like it's nothing long distance sucks in my opinion i can't connect with those guys the way i want to and it's unfortunate because they be like they be they be checking boxes you know but listen you're like okay he got this he got this he got this like he's a great person he's smart he knows how to communicate he likes to make me laugh and he's romantic but he's not here i understand that they can work i know that people have made it work i just don't know if for me at this point in my life if i can make that work you know what i'm saying i'm not completely closed off to the idea i'm grown at this point so i can travel freely and go if i need to go to atlanta to meet up with you and see you if you need to come down here to see me like we can make that happen I just have a, a kind of a guard up with getting too serious with anybody that's not permanently in the same place as me. The next thing I want to talk about is ghosting and inconsistency. So this has been a big thing in my 20s for me, myself, and dealing with people. Ghosting more so, I have been ghost. I haven't really been ghosted that often, but I have been ghosted a couple times. Um, and I do a lot of ghosting. Dating in my 20s, ugh, I feel like... I ghost people because I can't keep focused. Like I said, people be out of that state. People just be doing the most. I'll ghost you in a minute if I ain't feeling you. But I've also been ghosted. Ghosting bothers me when I'm in a situation where I thought we was on the same page. That's where ghosting bothers me. Like I've had a guy who I was talking to 
well, I thought it was kind of on the same page, you know, and then all of a sudden you just disappear. And I'm like, well, what done happened? I don't know where you went. I haven't heard from you. I was feeling you, you know, because I'm the type, I talk to most people, but I pick a favorite for sure. And so if you just up and just disappear, it's like, okay. It don't happen that often to me. I normally can, I can honestly say I'll be the one that'll ghost a little bit more, but I don't ghost people that I actually am developing something with. I will ghost somebody that we just talking and it ain't going nowhere and I'm bored. Or I have ghosted people on accident. I feel like accidental ghost things have costed me um, with dealing with guys because I will like be texting a guy or something like that and then I will miss one text and I won't respond and then I'll realize I haven't responded but so much time I've in my head like some hours have went by or maybe a day has went by that at this point I'm like I'm just not gonna say anything else because it's too late for me to respond now. Or it's probably my pride saying, well, dang, I don't, now I gotta like let them know like that I made a mistake. Those are really the instances where I ghost people, but I really don't get ghosted that often. Now, inconsistency on the other hand, I have had my fair and plentiful share of inconsistent men while I have been dating in my 20s, okay? And I'm tired and I think that's one of the biggest things where I'm like I'm tired of dating you men because y'all are inconsistent don't ask me on a date and then you don't follow up for that date until the day of and you cancel it I don't like that don't ask me on a date and then we don't even talk to each other but you think I'm about to go on a date with you don't text me on Monday and I don't hear from you again until Saturday or the only time I hear from you is when you decide you want to FaceTime me. When I've already told you, like, this needs to be an equal 50-50 thing. I, okay, you, you want to FaceTime, cool. But I like texting as well. So if you can't text me, but you want me to answer every FaceTime, I got a problem with that. That's not consistent to me. And these are people where it's like a situation where we're like, you know, really interested in one another. It's different when it's just guys that I'm just bored and I'm talking to. Like, I don't care because I'm probably being inconsistent. If you say you're gonna do something, you do it. You don't make promises about things that you can't and aren't willing to do. I have, a, I have a big problem with that kind of stuff. And you know, you let people know things in a timely manner, courtesy. Like for instance, if I can't text, if I'm at work or something like that, and I can't text you, I'm gonna find a certain moment, hey, I have a lot going on today. I'm not probably won't be texting. I just want to let you know, you know. I hope this is right. I don't know. I had to stop recording and start again. I don't know what it even looks like because I'm not getting back up to fix the monitor. So we're back. But like I was saying, um, you know, you just be courteous. And I feel like people, guys, are not courteous in that manner. I feel like they're very inconsistent. They're not courteous. They don't give you like you know just a little hey i'll hit you up later like that goes such a long way and for me when you're inconsistent like that you don't even show like you know hey you know i understand i get what you're saying i'm gonna fix it or you do that and then you don't fix it i'm just like i'm done <laughs> i don't want no parts i don't want to deal with that so you know there was that um next thing i want to touch on about dating in my 20s is dealing with situationships relationships and then the big marriage like i feel like right now it's like everybody that's around my age says how they want to be in a relationship everybody wants to be in a relationship but when it really comes down to it nobody's willing to put in the effort to actually be in a relationship so it's like it just becomes the situation where you are navigating through something y'all are doing something but y'all aren't actually effectively communicating to say hey let's be together and so it's like does everybody really want a relationship or do y'all just want to look like y'all want to be in a relationship and i feel like that is like kind of big right now people would just rather be in situations i'm not necessarily saying that i 
haven't been a part of that. I know for a fact that recently I was very much okay with being a part of situationships. I did not want a title. Um, I wasn't ready to be in a relationship with anybody. So I'm not saying I'm exempt from this, but I also don't go around saying, oh, I want a boyfriend, I want a boyfriend, and then treating everything like it's temporary. As of right now, I haven't, I haven't said that I wanted a boyfriend. Now, I want to be married. That's different. I definitely want to be married. So I have to start doing things differently in order for me to get that. I have to start being more intentional. But right now, I'm not intentional versus people who act like they are intentional or they want to be in a relationship, they want to be married, and they do nothing to go that route. And I feel like that kind of hinders me in the dating world anyway because y'all not showing that y'all even want that for real. So what am I supposed to do with that? Because you still want a sneaky link. You still want to text your ex. You still want to deal with this girl and that girl. Anybody got time. But you want to be in a relationship. It don't work like that. And I even had to have a conversation with a guy that I was dealing with about that. Because I'm like, you can't just keep dating people and just being out here and talking to this person, talking to that person, people's feelings are getting involved. And if you can't make a decision on what you want to do, you need to just leave people alone. Because it's not fair to anybody else who is starting to catch feelings, starting to um, wonder if there could be more to this. And the whole time, you know, you're not ready for it. And it's never going to be that you're wasting people's time. If you're a willing participant in that, that's different. But people got stuff they want. And you can't just be holding them up. And I feel like that's what people are doing. They're holding people up because they can't make up their mind about what they want. I don't got time for that. So that's where I am in my day. Like, you know, I've been dating, you know. I'll go on dates. I'll meet the guys. Um, to be honest, like, there has probably only been, I can count on my hand how many guys that I've talked to, went on a date with, and things like that, that I actually was truly like, huh, I could see myself with this person. But other than that, it's been very difficult. Um, it just seemed like ain't nothing out here. And I know it is. I'm not the person that's like, ain't nobody out here all these dudes all these niggas is trash like that is not me it's not me at all but sometimes i'll be feeling like it <laughs> sometimes i do feel like that but it's not my regular thought process i do know it's some great guys out here like that are want the same thing that i want but it's just taking a little while to get there i guess i don't know but honestly though at this point as a whole Am I ready to be in a relationship? I still think I got a couple more like months of sorting things out with me before I can commit to a relationship. But I am definitely entering into the season where I am wanting to find my person. Um, I'm not getting any younger, I feel like. I have certain things that I want to do that require a partner and i just want that i want a relationship that leads to marriage so right now at this point in time january what is it 15th can i say that i'm just absolutely ready to be with somebody no but i am working towards that i've been in like back-to-back -back relationships which is why i'm like i'm enjoying what i'm doing right now as far as just being young and dating around and figuring out what i like so I'm enjoying that part of me, but it's not always fun in the streets. I'll just put it like that. Um, you can still get your feelings hurt in the streets. Um, and at some point the streets just get boring and old and you just want your person. And I feel like I'm building towards that at this point. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have advice. I don't have anything like that. I don't know. Maybe you'll take something from this, but I'm really just kind of like out here trying to figure it out you know so one thing i do want to plug in here because i feel like it's great for what i'm talking about i feel like it could probably help somebody if you want to join me as i read this book i would encourage you to you know this book right here though it is called no groom in sight it is written by mrs monique help she is someone who is close to my family um 
she goes to my church she has helped me with a lot of different things as far as being in a, like a mentor a mentor to me so um this is her book she wrote this book and it is for the christian believing woman who is you know trying to navigate through this season of where you feel like there's just no husband for you or where is your husband or is he even out there does he exist and she wrote this book for women that are going through that season in their life kind of like a, a help for us to figure out what we're doing what we need to do what god might be trying to tell us you know and where we need to go i encourage any of you all get this book um i will link it down below where you can purchase it but get this book pick it up read it with me let's you know I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not completely ready yet. I got a couple months, I feel like. I got some stuff I need to do, probably get into this book. I feel like the information that's going to be provided in this book is going to be beneficial to younger women like myself, who we know what our future, what we want our future to look like, but maybe we just need a little guidance on how exactly we want to get there. So I encourage y'all, get this book, read it with me. It will be linked down below. But you know, that really concludes this video. Days in my 20s, it's been, you know, it's been difficult. I've been in two relationships in my 20s. As you can see, they're, they're both ended. Um, But I've learned a lot about myself through dating. I've learned what I want. I learned from those relationships what I want out of a man and what I don't. I've also grown as a person from seeing what I might have did wrong in my relationships. I'm learning from just dating different men, you know, what I like and don't like, what I might need to do better for me, what I might need to do better to be the woman I need to be for somebody else. So, you know, dating in my 20s, it hasn't been completely terrible. I've learned some great lessons, but honestly, it's like really trash out here. Like it's, it's really trash out here and I'm just like ready to find my person and be done because like, it's like, it's not, it's not it it's not it <laughs> like you know i've been real cool and real nice and stuff like that but it's trash i want my person i'm tired of being out here in the streets i'm tired lord send him please like but yeah <laughs> so yeah y'all um that wraps up this video i hope y'all enjoyed it please make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel I will be posting more stuff like this. If you enjoyed it, let me know. Let me know what else you want to see. And I will see y'all next time. All right. Bye. Can I? Baby. Can I?